Welcome to Navigating the Markets with Elliot Fibonacci and Harmonics. I want to thank you, Investor Inspiration, for inviting me here today. And I'm really passionate to be here with, with all of you savvy market participants and traders. And thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here today to talk about a topic that I am really very passionate about. I truly appreciate that. And as was mentioned, I did start trading currencies on Wall Street as an interbank trader to kick off my career. It has been a full career. And when I look back over the years, I can't think of any period of time when I didn't use Elliott Wave analysis, which is today's main topic. In fact, I just won't trade without it. So we've taught thousands of traders over the years how to read the markets with the Elliott Wave lenses and today I'm going to impart some of that knowledge and I'm going to show you something different today something really exciting I'm going to show you how we combine Elliott Fibonacci and harmonics to come up with with high probability trades by working through some examples I'm then going to show you a few of our wave counts on markets that show great potential for trend moves and finally to end today I'm going to show you a way to continue to receive our wave counts and take some questions if there is time. So please read the disclaimer to yourselves. Thank you. Okay, finally, I'm very proud to say that my first book was published by Wiley and can be purchased on Amazon, the Wiley website, or your local bookstore. And if you want to, see me do a five-minute speech at Harvard Business School, go to traderspendulum.com. It's a speech, five minutes on the book. I'm told it's a must-read for traders of all levels. I've certainly put my 30-plus years of trading experience into this book, so I do hope you take a look. You can download the first chapter on the Amazon or Wiley site. So that's all I'm going to say about the book. I like to start with the three pillars of trading success, and we're gonna go through this very quickly. What we use in our trading on a daily basis is analysis, strategy, and coaching and accountability. And for the analysis part, as we're going to discover today, which is a key pillar of achieving consistency, is, is Elliott Wave, Fibonacci, and Harmonics. It's really important, I believe, to have a thorough knowledge of the market to determine possible future scenarios and to really understand the market swings. So market swings are really trends and corrections, trends and corrections. So if you have a good idea of what the trends and the corrections are, you'll be able to anticipate the next market moves and be prepared to take advantage of the opportunities that arise. So in our system, we use Elliott Wave and Harmonics in order to have market context and increase the likelihood of successful outcomes. And of course, Fibonacci is a big part of both Elite Wave and Harmonics trading. The strategy is really key. Many of you have strategies. I'm going to show you a three-part strategy today, which is really very cool. And <clears throat> this is the second pillar to reaching the path to success. You need to have an effective strategy. I don't care what it is. It, it, can, it can be just pure price action. It can be you know, a few indicators. It can be Elliott Wave. Because after a good analysis, which develops the context for the markets, strategy is used to take the trade, to trigger the trade. It's used to identify the exact entry point, the stop loss level, and the profit target, and to know when to trade and when to stay out of the market. And since removing the emotions in trading is key, as we all know, it's really important to write down your strategy, to know what it is, so that you don't just wing it when you open up your trading platform and you start to trade every day. Emotions just can fly high, as, as we all know. We've all experienced it. And in order to temper these emotions, one great way is to write down your strategy, to know what it is, and to really try to follow the strategy. And I talk a lot about psychology and the strategy in, in my book, actually. So we use the wavy tunnel, but you can use your own strategy um, as, as well. Couching and accountability. 
it's really important that you're part of a community of traders. Accountability is key. Even if you grab a trading buddy as part of a trading community to share your trades with, it's that's that's all you need. You need somebody to work with, to plan your trading goals, to receive feedback from. And if you're trading the same strategy, that's even better because then you can talk to each other and say, oh, are you seeing this today? Are you seeing this? I'm thinking about going long. And, and if your trading buddy says, I'm analyzing that right now, it's, it's a great high probability trade setup. That gives you more confidence because let's face it, the more confidence we have as traders, the more, the better decisions we're going to make. If we don't have confidence in our trades, then we're not gonna be able to pull the trigger. So we need confidence uh, in order to take high probability setups. And there's no better way to get confidence in the markets by taking just so many trades and, and having it be boring. So using the same strategy over and over and over again so that it is boring, but Hopefully you'll see if it's boring, that's good because that means that you, hopefully you're seeing the trades that are popping out at you and you've internalized the strategy and you can see them. But having a trading buddy is really a good idea or being part of a like-minded community. So the analysis, Elliott Wave. Well, Ralph Nelson Elliott studied various market indices over a 75 year period in the 1930s. And while he was bedridden, he discovered that stock markets traded in repetitive cycles and that these cycles or waves reflected the emotions of the investors. And we can see that very, very precisely and actively in all of the markets that we're trading today. We can see, uh, especially in the cryptocurrencies, you can see the emotions playing out in the markets. And <clears throat> in fact, Elliott Wave is really working very well on the cryptocurrencies as well. I'll show you some examples a little later. But the cycles or the waves, that's what I was talking about. Trends and corrections, trends and corrections. And we'll discuss this a little bit more. Fibonacci, very, very important uh, to understand how Fibonacci plays a role in this. And we'll touch on this as well because Elliott Wave is based on the Fibonacci ratios. It's based on uh, Fibonacci projections and Fibonacci retracements. So it's just a good way to find out where we are in the market, where we think it's going. And when we line that up with harmonics, when we line up the Elliott Wave targets with the harmonic targets, it's just fantastic. And I'm gonna show you that today. This is an absolutely new webinar. This stuff is just a little bit of the theory that I have to get. I have to go through before I show you the the uh, the goods. This is the eight wave cycle on the left. So five waves up and three waves down. Keep in mind this eight wave cycle. So the five waves up, that's a trend move. And the three waves down is, it, this is a zigzag, but there are other corrective waves or corrective patterns. This happens to be the zigzag pattern, but we are going to touch on this shortly. What lenses are we looking through? What do you see? Do you see an elderly couple holding each other or do you see a Mexican guitar player serenading his girl? Another paradigm is, is the glass half empty or half full? You've heard that one before. So too in trading, we have different ways of looking at the markets. Call them paradigms if you want. So today, for the rest of this session, I want you to just stretch your minds a little bit and, and really go with me in understanding this new paradigm, a different way of looking at the markets. This is the eight wave cycle that we saw earlier. And I'm just gonna uh, just tell you how you can trade the eight wave cycle briefly. That's, that's really not the purpose of this webinar, but I have it on the screen. So when the market does an impulsive uh, trend move up and then corrects prior to moving in, in with the wave three, you can certainly look to buy the wave three because the wave three move in Elliott Wave is the strongest and the greatest. And that's the wave where you really can't get in on corrections. The corrections are shallow. And if the corrections are really shallow and you find yourself not getting in, it's because it's a wave three. 
Wave four is a little bit different. That's where some smart money is taking profits. And that's where others are entering for that last move up for the wave five. And then we reach point two and we have a market reversal with, it's labeled here as an ABC zigzag correction. A lot of people get caught up once we move down in an A, they, they get caught buying the B wave. And then what follows is a major move down for the C wave. Try not to get caught in that. This is actually a great place to sell for the C wave. If you see a correction and if it's not in three waves, don't get fooled into buying in this bull trap. And, and that's what it is. It's a bull market trap. So the market moves down in an impulsive fashion in a trend move, and then it corrects in three waves. That's the sign that the market is going to come down again. And I'm gonna tie this all together with harmonics shortly and Elliott wave. So let's just go with building blocks and start with an eight wave cycle example. This is just a, a trend move down, we can label, wave one, two, three, four, five. You can see the, the wave three is a pretty strong move, greatest move for profits. The wave two retraces 61.8% of wave one. Wave twos typically retrace from 60, 50 to 100% of wave one. And when it retraces close to 100%, that's called a double top or a double bottom. And that's where you can take, take a position if you've done your analysis and you, you've done your analysis and you think it's the start of the trend move and you take your position, your stop is always gonna be above 0 0.0. So in terms of trade management, the closer you get to 0 0.0, the bigger the position you can take because your stop is gonna be just above 0 0.0. And if you miss the start and we make a new high before it turns around, so be it. You have to be prepared for that. Point T, is where wave five ends up. Now notice that I've drawn channel, channel, a channel around this five wave sequence. In fact, all Elliott wave cycles can be drawn with channels. All the trend moves can be drawn with channels. And that's what we wanna get into the habit of doing, just drawing channels on your charts. Because when we break out of the channel, that means that we are in the, that corrective phase, that ABC that we spoke about. Here's another example, this is the, one hour chart in the S&P from, I guess yesterday I, I took this. So again, a five wave sequence, you can see the red circled one, two, three, four, five. This is an extended wave three because we have the orange color coding in between another five wave sequence. So in this case, wave two retraces 50% of wave one and wave three is longer, but we have a beautiful five wave sequence. So we draw our channel lines connecting the five wave sequence and then look what happens. I'm gonna set up a, a strategy for you, a three-step process for you momentarily, but I just wanna go through the eight wave cycle examples. In this case, we're just doing the left side, the five wave cycle. This is Bitcoin. So here we have a five wave cycle and the wave two retraced only 38.2%. And that's because of all the hype. The smaller the correction, the more hype there is. And that's, that's just the way of it. But again, we can draw channel lines around the uptrend. And, that, and we're going to talk about what happens when we break that channel line uh, in just a second. But looking... Looking at the break here on Bitcoin, every time the market breaks down through the connecting channel, the channel line, typically it retraces as it does here with Bitcoin. And then we have our ABC, our ABC move, okay? Gold, here's another example. This is the daily chart. Five waves up, channel break, retest of the channel. So just get an idea, get a sense of, of what we're trying to do here. We're highlighting the five wave cycle, we're drawing channel lines, and then we have the three wave correction, ABC. Now you can see in this gold chart, 
that we have the A, B, C in orange. This is from our, our daily wave counts, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna talk about this shortly. This is your three-step process for finding the end of the trend. First, let's start on the left side. The trend is characterized by oscillator convergence. So whether you use, if you use oscillators, if you use RSIs or stochastics or MACD, you're going to see oscillator convergence. And what that means is when the price makes a new high, the oscillator makes a new high, typically in a trend. The second characteristic is you're going to see price within the channel, as we've just shown. So price within the channel. And the third is that you're going to see one, two, three trend continuation. So what is a one, two, three trend continuation? It looks like this. I'm just going to try to write here. All right, I'm not going to draw right now, but a one, two, three trend continuation. You've heard of if you've heard of the one, two, three reversal, it all it is is price makes a new high in the trend. That's point one. It comes down, it retraces, that's point two. Actually, the starting point is point one. It moves up. And that's labeled a point two at that high. Price comes down for the point three. And then once price takes out that point two, that new high, that previous high, that's your one, two, three trend continuation. So basically, you're buying breaks. Every time price makes a new high, you're buying the breaks. And if we're in a wave three, it it's going you're going to get shallow corrections and you're going to have these one two three trend continuations continuously until the trend ends until the wave three ends and we move into a wave four so just to recap trend oscillator conversions you're going to see you're going to see price within the channel and you're going to see one two three trend continuations the change in trend is the opposite when the trend is running out of steam you're going to see divergence and you're gonna see that trend line break and possibly a retest that we spoke about. And you're going to see a one, two, three reversal. So let's look at some examples. So this is the S&P chart that we looked at earlier. Okay, so we have the five wave sequence. Let's examine the five wave sequence for trend, these trend characteristics. This is our three-step process. I have the awesome oscillator here. This is my favorite oscillator. It's, it's what I use to look for the Elliott wave cycles. And you can see with the black line drawn that we have the oscillators making lower lows as price makes a lower low. That's convergence because price is making new lows and the oscillator is also making new lows. So oscillator convergence in a trend. Second, price in channel. Yes, certainly the price is in the channel, so we're in the downtrend. So that means as soon as you have your channel lines drawn, you want to look to take advantage of market sells at the top end of the channel. One, two, three, trend continuation. So point one starts, starts the move. I hope you can see my cursor. Point two is where you see the, the red circle of one. Point three is where you see the red circle two. And once we break down below the red circle one, that's your cell. That's your one, two, three trend continuation. That's your cell. So every time we move down and we trade sideways and we make a new low, that's your cell. That's your trend continuation. And you can do this all day long when during trend moves. Look for your oscillator convergence, price and channel, and one, two, three trend continuation. Now, let's move to the change in trend. With the change in trend, you're going to be looking for divergence. Let's look at the awesome oscillator in the purple line connecting the bottoms. You can see that the awesome oscillator makes a higher low. 
price is making a new low, but the awesome oscillator is making a higher low, and it's forming a greater than sign, like a greater than sign on a keyboard. That is your divergence, and all it means in this wave count, it's one, two, three, four, five, that price is running out of steam at, at the wave five. As we move from the end of the wave three to the wave four, price is running out of steam, and you begin to see divergence. Now you can use any oscillator for divergence. I use, that's how I use oscillators. When I'm looking at a strong, a trend, I use the awesome oscillator and look for convergence and divergence. So that's number one, change in trend divergence. Number two is a trend line break. Well, we broke through this trend and we retested. Okay, we retested over here and then we retest it again. So that's a trend line break. That's a heads up that the market might be turning around. Yes, it can go back in within the channel and continue its downtrend, absolutely. And then it's a false break. But in this case, it doesn't. It retests. Then we get to the one, two, three reversal. The one, two, three reversal is right here where price moves up. It comes down, it retraces maybe 50% of the move up, and then it takes out this price high, which would be labeled as 0.2, and we're off to the races. So this is one, one, two, three setup, and the, the first one occurs over here at the top of A. Okay, they're both, they're both um, at more or less the same level. So you would buy above A, or you would buy above this level if price comes down and makes another one, two, three. So now this is very exciting because we have, we've, we've determined how we can trade the trend. We determined how we can look for a change in trend with our three-step process. And we're gonna look at another example and then we're going to look at harmonics to come up with our target for this corrective move. So let's say we bought this, what kind of target are we looking at? And let's look at harmonics to, to see that. But first, let's just look at one more example. This is gold, this is the daily chart of gold. So <clears throat> oscillator convergence, price is moving up, and the awesome oscillator makes a new high with price. And between waves three and five, the awesome oscillator makes a lower high. So price makes a new high, the awesome oscillator doesn't. This is the less than sign in an uptrend. It's a greater than sign in a downtrend. Price is within the channel. And we have one, two, three continuation. Every time price moves up and comes back down and takes out that price high, that's a one, two, three continuation pattern you're gonna be buying, as long as we're in the trend, okay? And then what happens? We have a change in trend. We have divergence, like I told you about, and we have a trend line break, and then a retest. Trend line break down, retest, one, two, three, reversal. Okay? So the next piece in this puzzle is great. So we know how to trade trends. We know what to look for when the market reverses. Now, what about a target? Let's set some targets. And this is, this is the exciting part. So let's just take a step back and talk a little bit about harmonics. The chart is the roadmap. Pattern recognition offers high probability opportunities. Elliott wave analysis, Fibonacci methods, and harmonic patterns are all based on ratio and proportion. They're all linked together with Fibonacci. And the harmonic nomenclature is going to be different from the Elliott wave nomenclature. So the harmonic nomenclature is X, A, B, C, D, or A, B equals C, D. And don't confuse that nomenclature with the eight wave cycle, the one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, that we, that we understand from Elliott. Don't confuse that. But you can use them both in conjunction. So we have the eight wave cycle for 
Elliott wave, and you're going to label that one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. And then for harmonics, you're going to have a slightly different pattern. You're going to have an X, A, B, C, D. Whereas the Elliott wave ABC is the correction, you're always going to correct in ABCs or WXYs. WXY is just a, a bit of a complex correction. Harmonics don't confuse the labeling, this nomenclature, with the Elliott wave nomenclature. And guess what? Elliott wave analysis provides a roadmap that we can fit the harmonic patterns into. It's very exciting. And in our Wavy Tunnel Pro, our Elliott Wave Ultimate course, we have added harmonics to the mix. And it's just, I'm just giving you a small piece of it today. There's so much more. And when you learn all three methods and you learn how to combine them, you get a very powerful combination. And we call that the convergence of Elliott, Fibonacci, and harmonics using the wavy tunnel system. Okay. Here it is. We have our eight wave cycle on the left and we have our harmonic pattern on the right. And we just discussed the nomenclature. Now, let's look at an example. This is very, very exciting. Actually, I'm gonna go back up here for a second. Look at this, if, if I label this eight wave cycle as the harmonic pattern X, A, B, C, D, which you can see on the right, we can create a harmonic pattern out of the eight wave cycle. So when I asked you the question, how can we find our targets? Once we trade the trend and we have the trend breakdown and then we have a retest, how can we find out what this target is? This is how we do it, using harmonics. And we can, we can find this har harmonic patterns in every eight wave, Elliott wave cycle. I don't think I've ever ha heard anybody say that before. In fact, this was, this was just a recent aha for me because we use harmonics in other parts of the Elliott wave cycle. But when I looked and I was working on this presentation and I saw that, oh my gosh, the eight wave cycle is one big harmonic pattern, I got so excited and that's what I based this presentation on. This was yesterday. I mean, this is new, okay? And I'm really surprised that I hadn't seen it before in this context because we do have trade plans that we've set up using harmonics and Elliott, but this is just very exciting. So now let's look at this example, the S&P. This is a, here, let me just get the, uh, let me just draw it out for you. Okay, if we, if this is X, A, B, C, D, this is the eight wave cycle. We have our five waves and we have our three wave move. This is our eight wave cycle. So when we talk about how do we find the target, once we break through this downtrend channel, we put up our, our Gartley, our harmonic pattern. Now, usually harmonic patterns are drawn after you have that first move up and then you have the correction. And then you can fit your, fit the pattern, you know exactly what pattern it's gonna be. So if you, if you wait for that, then you're really looking for this CD leg, this D wave, okay? If you're looking for a move up, you're looking for the D wave. Now I also told you that this, if this is an A, B, C in Elliott, and you have a three wave move, for this B wave, you're also gonna be trading that C leg. So they're lining up just beautifully. Now this happens to be a Gartley harmonic pattern on this hourly S&P. 
and it's a Gartley because of the Fibonacci ratios that you see here. I don't want to get into that, but this is the target. So if you're long the S&P, and actually the, it, it hit the target today, okay? It, it hit this target today. Um, I printed this out yesterday. But if you're long the S&P, let's say down here, this would be your, your hourly target, okay? That would be your hourly target. So this is very, very exciting to me. I hope it's exciting for you too. <laughs> but if not, that's okay. Hey, you know, to each his own. Let me show you another example. Okay, let me show you another example. This is the gold example. So this pattern happens to be a bat harmonic pattern. And with a bat, you typically have a trend move and then the market comes down. In this case, the market came down 50% and then moves back up. And we often see our double tops here with bat patterns. It's like a, an M formation. So we're in the trend, the market breaks down, and we're thinking, okay, where is this going to go? Where is this gold going to go? So we plot our harmonic pattern, and we come up with, with, this, with this D point, okay, right over here. This is the range. Then I look, and I see that Juan, who was, is our Elliott Wave strategist at FX Trader's Edge, he's also placing the end of this leg in this vicinity. And I'm sure he did it without looking at this harmonic pattern. And if I go back up to the S&P, he also placed his target here. I didn't move this. This is, this is what we're posting in our daily analysis. So when I put together this presentation and I put together this Gartley pattern on this S&P and I saw that it lined up with this Elliott Wave target, which is also based on Fibonacci, I said, wow. This is wow. Like I, I, I haven't even like, spoken to him about this. And we're very into the harmonic patterns and, and using it for our, you know, our Elliott wave. But anyway, this is, um, if I'm sounding really too excited, it's, yeah, it's because it's new. So let's just recap. What did we start out by doing? We started out by looking at the eight wave market cycle, one, two, three, four, five, and the trend, we have a trend line break, and we have the ABC correction. Then we talked about the trend three-step process. You want to look for oscillator convergence. You want to see the price in the channel, and you want to see one, two, three trend continuations all the way up with the trend. And then we looked at the change in trend. So what happens at point T? We have divergence. We have a trend line break, and we have a one, two, three reversal. And finally, we're looking at targets. And we can see that this eight wave pattern is actually a harmonic pattern. So we figure out what the harmonic pattern is and we plot it and we can come up with our point D, which is our target for this one, two, three, four, five, ABC, ABC, eight wave market cycle. Here you have it. This ties together Elliott, Fibonacci, and harmonics in one nice, simple picture. And it's just, I'm loving it. I'm just loving it. So let's go to some live markets, and I'm going to show you what our wave counts are for several markets, and then I'm going to show you a way that you can get involved. You can either get involved in a monthly service for the price of a sandwich, and you can get a complete course from us, and I'm also going to show you how to join our flagship program, the Wavy Tunnel Pro um, where you can really get, you know, learn, learn it all, learn it all. So live markets, let's do that first. And then I'll show you our offer. So I just printed these off yesterday. I didn't have time to print them off today. So I printed off the dailies. This is the Euro and we look at 16 markets every single day, by the way, with videos every day. So this is the Euro and it's just, it's just the wave counts. So what this is saying is that we've we've done a wave three up here, and we've done a complex correction for a wave four, and we're in the midst of moving up a bit more to complete this fifth wave move. 
and this is a nice WXY correction for the wave four. Now, obviously, if the market comes back down below this level, then this correction continues, but right now it's sideways, it's flat, and at some point we would be looking for this to continue on up and to complete its five wave sequence for the wave five, and then we would see a, a bigger correction down. So that's the euro. Looking at the pound, same sort of pattern, only this corrective sequence is more of a, it's a flag pattern. This is a flag pattern. See, once you get to know elite wave analysis, you'll begin to see the classical technical analysis patterns. So if we just go back up to the euro, this is a box or a rectangle pattern. It's a sideways continuation pattern. And this is a flag pattern. And that's what it is. So we're also expecting this to move higher once we break up through these channel lines. Here's Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, this is what we're calling for Bitcoin. We, this was the, the top of the move, and we're in the midst of a complex correction now, which we are labeling it WXYXZ. Okay, and because, and, and we, we've, we're labeling it a wave one and a wave two. So if this is the third leg of the correction, we do have more room to go uh, down on Bitcoin, sorry to say. Here's Ethereum, same picture. We're calling this a wave three on top, and this is a wave four, and we do have a little bit more room to go on the downside for Ethereum. Okay. Let's get into the S&P. So we looked at the hourly earlier. This is the first move down, the A that we spoke about on the eight wave cycle. This is the three wave move up for the B. And we should be coming down for another five wave sequence. Okay, we should be coming down for another five wave sequence. Here's NASDAQ. It looks very similar to the S&P. Okay, wave three, A, B should be coming down to complete this sequence. Now, of course, if we if we go above the wave three, then if that then uh, that negates that would negate this ABC correction, and we'd have to uh, move over the correction to this piece here. Okay, gold. I showed you this daily gold already, so we're in the midst of this three wave correction A B. C, and that's where we are with gold. So we're, we're in pretty well in the corrective sequences of every single market that I've shown you so far. Here's oil. This is a little bit different. This is the way we're labeling it is we also need to come down to complete this five wave sequence. Okay, so for all of the patterns that I've shown you so far, and the currencies, the euro, the pound, and the stocks and the stock indices and gold and oil, it looks like we need some more room to the downside. Okay. So let me talk a little bit about what we offer and what we can offer you today. I'm just going to show you one slide on the way we the our Wavy Tunnel Pro program, wavytunnelpro.com. So just make a note, wavytunnelpro.com. This is, but I am going to offer you a special for being here today, which is not this, but I know that when I do presentations, some students say, well, why are you giving me, I want to take your program. Why are you giving me the Elite Wave desk? I want to take the whole thing. So I'm just putting it out there, wavytunnelpro.com. This is uh, the whole the whole thing. So consistently find trades and profit in all market cycles on any time frame and finally understand where to enter and exit each trade, which are, with our strategy, you don't need to be a consummate Elliott Wave counter because the strategy captures these market cycles right within the strategy. And it gives you the entry point. We have six different, uh, I guess, 
six different trades, four trend trades and two end of trend trades. And we teach you where to trigger the trade and where to set your stop loss and how to set your profit targets. So, and this also includes a scanner on over 100 stocks, on over 35 currencies, on seven cryptocurrencies, and on 36 CFDs. So that's all I'm going to say about the Wavy Tunnel Pro. Dot ladytownpro .com. Now I'm going to show you what our offer is for today. I've shown you our Elliott Wave count, and that's what we have. We have our Elliott Wave desk where we count and you trade. You have your own personal Elliott Wave analyst and strategist by your side, which is Juan. I've told you about Juan. He's excellent. So if you join, you can click on elliotwavedesk.com forward slash expo. And let me tell you what we're going to get, what you're going to get. You're going to get daily analysis on the daily chart, the four hour chart and the one hour chart on the euro, the pound, the Aussie, the dollar yen, the New Zealand dollar, dollar Canada, the S&P, the 10 year bond, gold, oil, the Dow, NASDAQ, Russell, DAX, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. And you're also going to get, in addition to the wave counts, you'll get a daily video explaining, you know, what, what we're seeing and what's, what's a, a high probability trade. As also part of this service, we do have a trade, trade signal service where we actually send out trade signals by, uh, by text message. So that's elliotwavedesk.com forward slash expo. In addition to the monthly service, which you are going to get one month of the Elliott Wave Desk, you are going to get a course. Module one on becoming a trader, module two on market structure, module three on fundamentals and candlesticks, and module four, an introduction to Elliott Wave. So you can sign up today for $17 and you will get this entire seminar plus one month of the Elliott Wave Desk. If you want to renew, it will renew automatically for $75 a month, the Elliott Wave Desk service. And you can cancel at any time. So you just need to go to elliottwavedesk.com forward slash expo. This is what we're offering you today analysis on 16 different markets plus a seminar a back to basics seminar we all need the back to basics but this this isn't really basic it's when i do something i do it right i i, I don't you know i try to put everything in it that i can think of from my uh trading career in these uh in these videos some of you who are my clients already know this that we don't keep things back right so I just want to see if there are any questions here. Um, let me just see if there's anything else. Yeah, no, that's it. So this is the deal, $17. And I think I'm right, I just ran out of time. $17 for the seminar and one month of the Elite Wave Desk. I want to thank you very, very much for being here. And if you have questions, if I haven't answered questions, then feel free to send me an email to jody at fxtradersedge.com, J-O-D-Y at fxtradersedge.com, and I'm happy to answer you personally. If you have any questions about our services, please, please email as well.